welcome to the ramp test uh, r pass solution so uh, in this demo i'm going to talk about uh, the main uh, feature set of this ramp test uh, pass solution and how it will be mainly useful for the, uh, the restaurants or even for the retail vendors so let me uh, go through this r pass application so when you launch this r pass application so this is a single dashboard uh, which contains all the uh, orders in the offline so the beauty of this application is, of this application is it is not only just a pass solution you can uh, share uh, this web url link also to receive any online orders and you can market this web url in a facebook or even you can share this product list in the form of a uh, the digital catalog to your existing customers okay so you can see here the whatsapp url also here uh, under this, uh, you know, so right now I created a name for my uh, shop as, you know, Monginis. So you can share this complete link of this uh, Monginis product list from this web your link to the customers. Okay. So let me start with uh, adding some of the products. So you can see here, this is the, on the left hand side, there is a top menu and then there is an inventory and products. Okay. So when you go into this product list, so I have the category also, category I made it into three categories, I can say four categories, it is a 3D cakes, cupcakes, Christmas cakes and the pastry and all these uh, under these categories I have created almost like nine products, okay, so nine uh, cake, different types of cakes I have uh, created under this category. So you can see here uh, 4 plus to 6, 6 plus uh, to 8, 8 plus 1, 9, okay, so you can see the pastry there is one product linked up, so all those products I have created. So if you want to create your uh, own new product, so you can see here there is an add product. So when you click on this add product, you can view the product name, the cake name, and you can select the category whether you want to give it to the 3D cake or a cupcake or a you know, Christmas or a pastry, right? And you can give, define the MRP and selling price and other information, whether it is a wage or non-wage cake, right? So all those information you can update under this add product. So I already added uh, close to nine uh, different types of cakes I have already added under my product. So let me go to the pass solution first. So you can see here on the left hand side there is a, a blue button so which represents the billing. So when I uh, hit on this button so I'll be landing up into the billing uh, page. So where I have a different types of uh, cakes is already represented here. Okay so let me check on the favorites. Okay so I have uh, there is a customer uh, visited to the shop and he picked up the three different types of cakes and now the customer is willing to pay using the UPA payment so I have selected the UPA payment as here and if you want to add the customer details you can add the customer details the customer name so we can add the customer name as Ravi and uh, uh, so we are going to link this particular uh, particular payment to the customer so we can collect some more additional information of the customer like customer date of birth or the email mobile number other so you can save that so as soon as you save this so let me go to this dashboard you can see the the right hand corner side there is a dashboard uh, check on this dashboard and the beauty of this application is you can see here there is a sale happened exactly at 9 so there is a graphical representation of this uh, dashboard which which talks about you know where is your peak uh, sales and where is your you know where the sales are not happening right so this is a beautiful representation of a graph uh, in terms of your sales uh, so that you can plan your day you know accordingly so it gives you more insights over the period of time okay so in which uh, particular time my sales are happening right so this graph is basically a representation of that and you can see the fast moving products so right now I have the customer has visited to the shop and picked up three cakes so those information is updated the fast moving and additionally, the interesting part is there is a payment uh, methodology. So whatever we selected, the UPA, cash, and credit, and different types of UPA, all this will be reconsol reconsolidated into a single location, uh, which talks about you know how much of the amount you have received, it. the UPA payments, the cash payments, and the credit card payments. Okay, so this is all the consolidation of all the payments under the one section. Okay. So uh, all these bills, okay, right now I have made a uh, close to bill of a uh, customer for a bill of 2500. All those bills will be updated under this sales. You can see here on the left, on the top, there is a, a sales section, right? So when I uh, click on this sales and you can see here, uh, when I click on this, okay, so there is a customer um, uh, named Ravi. 
uh, has come up and picked up these three products and I can give a printout also you can see there is a printout print button here and I click on this print it will be a printout will be generated and given to the customer right so uh, this is mainly into the parcel list okay so you can see here on the dashboard there is an all online and offline okay whatever the 2500 amount is updated under this sales of the offline which is nothing but a customer visiting to the shop okay and any expenses number of bills average uh, basket size the highest bill all those information you know, whatever the billing happened at the shop all this inf information will be reflected under this offline section however the interesting part here is the online part also as part of this application so you can see in this web url so uh, you, I think I already showed like there are products which I have added almost like close to nine different types of cakes I already added under my digital catalog right so the same information will be uh, you know shared to the customers okay suppose there is a web whatsapp or a whatsapp is logging into this tab so you can click on this uh, share button and directly you can share it to the customers so I'm just opening a web page how the the end user uh, will be look and feel will be uh, uh, when you click on this online products okay so you know assume like I am a customer who has received that web URL and the first part is I need to confirm so from the customer point of view he need to confirm his location first as soon as he confirmed the location the complete menu of that particular shop retail shop whatever the product catalog I have added right all these things will be available under this web URL so there are nine categories you can see here there are four cakes here five six seven uh, eight and nine okay so all those nine cakes are updated here and for example if the customer is ready to pick up her ad and uh, uh, there is a cake like you know crunchy cake okay so I have selected a couple of cakes and I am ready to check out here so the customer can select his delivery address so in case if he is looking for it since we are you know talking about the online uh, order so there is a payment options cash on delivery and you can do the customer can do the UPI payments as well so the amount is close to 2000 rupees so we can add all the customer details also so let me uh, do a quick checkout okay so when I select that particular address and uh, do the checkout so the order was received you can see here there is an order was received there is a, a message tone uh, basically right now I am operating from the pass solution and at the same time I am acting like a customer as well okay so let me go and go to this pass solution and uh, let's see whether we received the online order or not okay so you can see in the top there is an online orders so you click on this online orders so we have there is a uh, let's go to this pending so in the pending uh, we see there is a order was received of close to 2000 rupees right so the customer name was you know just given some random name and so you now right now the store can accept it or reject it okay so either of it they can do it if it is rejected from the uh, from the store so that information will be a given a notification or a status will be updated to the user so right now let me accept it so I have accepted from the store so if it is accepted now the state of this it is moved from pending to the accepted so now the store is uh, accepted it is preparing it the cake was prepared and the sent for out for delivery and when I am sending for out for delivery from the store you can the beauty of this is we can add a a delivery person as well okay so add a new delivery person so right now I can uh, say uh, Suresh is, uh, is the delivery person and I can give some mobile number and the email address and other information uh, it is not all mandate so you can uh, uh, create uh, so we need to enter in value in that as well okay so I can tag this so I think that the delivery person information is also uh, tagged and uh, we have created it So I think um, right now that is not completely uh, tagging it here. So let me skip this step and come back. Okay. So let me uh, cancel. Like if you don't want to tag any delivery person, you can cancel that also. So it is now moved into the delivery status. Okay. So you can check the status of this cake as uh, as a deliver. So you can check that amount of close to uh, amount of close to two thousand rupees. Right. This is order out for 
selected okay so that you can track it under this all status so once it is uh, you know once it is delivered the status is uh, so delivered then it will be reflected under the order delivered in case of any cancellations from the customer that will be reflected under the cancellations and if it is rejected from the store that information will be reflected under the store section okay so you can see here uh, the amount of close to 2000 rupees was updated under the uh, online order so the all section talks about your which include the consolidation of the online and the offline okay so the complete track of that information will be updated under the all uh, dashboard which talks about your you know online and offline orders so the right now the graph is representing mainly at the offline ability however you can consolidate that online orders information also in terms of this graph okay i hope you have a very good clarity how uh, this ram disk pass solution can be managed at the store and uh, on top of it uh, there is a feature of online orders where you can custom uh, you know share this web url link so the web url link, link seems to be very big in size here but we can be customized and it can be uh, shrink into the you know maximum uh, one uh, brand name so we can uh, give it a single unified name and you can share it to the customers in the whatsapp or in the facebook so those customizations can be and additionally there are other settings like you know in, in case if you want to uh, do a settings with a different uh, printer or even for the loyalty points or different languages the payment methods so right now we enabled only a couple of payment methods right so if there are customers want to you know uh, give a payment in terms of this google pay so we can enable the google pay also so a lot of information as part of the settings and there are some purchases uh, and invoices uh, also can be po and invoice also can be uh, managed from this pass solution and there are expenses also can be added so all the expenses will be updated under this expenses uh, section on the dashboard whatever we added it here and uh, there are other information in terms of the customers and the delivery persons information can be managed using this users and uh, additionally there is a subscription based uh, thing like you know how much uh, how much long like you know you want to subscribe this application like if it is a yearly or a, uh, or a two years plan also okay so the so right now the interesting part of this pass solution is it is available not only just at a pass device the same data can be the same login can be used using the, the tablet or even into your mobile also can be working. It's a, like a seamless experience. If the, the owner of the store want to track all the data from his mobile application, however, there are some limitations into the mobile applications. You, there is no graphical representations of the mobile. However, the data in terms of the online and sales can be easily tracked even from the mobile application. The same store with the same login of the, uh, the user has to log in with uh, his mobile number. When you sign out, uh, the user has to log in with the uh, with the mobile number and the OTP will be generated. No need to remember about any passwords. The same login can be used into the mobile pass also. However, there are some li limitations into the mobile usage. That's all on this demo. Hope you got a clear information on the RAM disk or pass solution. Thank you.